Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and tonight we are going to be working on Lumber Tycoon 2 Logic. Yay! So if you guys have been watching, I did a little bit of a logo for um, the Lumber Tycoon 2 wiki. Uh, sorry, Wikia page. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this video to create a whole bunch of mini videos for tutorials to walk through on Logic. So that's going to be really cool, really fun. Uh, lots of cool ideas. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, actually, I've I've got a truckload of stuff that I still haven't set up. Still haven't set up the light bulbs yet. So we're uh, yeah, let's do that. All right, this is an ore switch. All right, so that needs to go right here, right here, right there. Sweet ore and. This is an AND switch, so that goes right here, like that. And this is OR switch. I think it was OR. That or is an XOR. And oh, that was an XOR. XOR switch. There we go. <laughs> My inverters are turning those on. That's nice. That's awesome. All right. I didn't even see what that one was. I'm gonna take a guess and say it was an XOR. Uh, wild guess, wild guess, come on, come on, get in there. No, I was completely wrong. It's an AND switch, or an AND gate. Sorry, I keep calling them switches. Um, they are not a switch, okay? This right here is a switch. Blink. This right here is an AND gate, OR gate, and XOR gate. And I'll explain those here in just a little bit. Oh, let's get us some light in here, because at nighttime, you can't see. You can't see diddly. So, uh, we picked up some neons last time. Go ahead and get those rolling. Right here, almost. There we go. Make them look like fluorescent lights, like a laboratory. Like a lab. Well, that's, that's off slightly. Ew. Nope, that's gonna bug me. All right, move it. Move. Put you right on the very end, right there. Perfect. Okay, cool. Now let's come out as far as it'll reach. Nice and even. Even, Steven. Finished. There we go. Now it looks good. That's that's awesome. Uh, we want to connect another wire. And we'll come over one more, and then one more on the wall. So I need four more total. Um, okay, I know you're in here somewhere. There it is. Come here, you. Let's get that one out. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You grab that one. These are the neon lights, um, the white neons from Link's Logic across the river ocean. You gotta take the ferry to get across to it. I think that's it. We just had five, right? If there's another one buried in there somewhere, I'll, I'll have to find it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. B. I need a wire. Alright, let's hook up the wire. Move. Maybe. Okay. Yep, it's moving. I want to touch on the very end, right here. We'll come out just a little bit, right there. And we'll, oh, 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 lag got it. The lag got it. So whenever you're placing wires, make sure you wait a second until you see that red. Otherwise, it will mess up. Let's come down to right about here. Right, right there. Yeah, and then let's move in some like that. Finished. Nice. Now we can grab here. Maybe I should have came down a little bit more. Actually, yeah. I want it. I want it right, right here. So let's finish on that. Let's come down. Move. Come on. Come on. This is very cool, by the way. The uh, the way this looks. 
because it, it literally it looks like laboratory or shop lights. Oh, I gotta make it even, 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 even. Good. Come out that way. Finished. There we go. Now we can move this in. in. Move it in. Like that. And we'll come all the way down. Nice. And squared. Finished. Oh, that looks so awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Oh, no. Am I one short? There's no way I'm one short. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. B. Get it right in the center. Right in the center. Good. Come out. Oh, gosh. How far can this thing reach? Oh, right there. And finished. Sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so cool. Fluorescent lights for my laboratory. Code Primate Labs. Making the dream come true. Oh. Oh gosh. Is that. That's not going to be. Yeah, we can. Wait. Oh, shh. Quiet, you. Alright, we'll come to the wall. Right there. And then we'll come down to right. About here. And then come back out just a little bit. Like that. Finished. Yes. I'm so excited. Like this is this has been one awesome build. Just from the very beginning of like thinking of what I was going to do over here and everything else. And it's been a long time coming. Like long time. Wait, what color of neon was that? That's yellow. But don't want yellow. I want white. Like a laboratory or a shop. Hello, is there one more? I don't think I've got another one. Shoot, did it fall out? Maybe? Well, okay, we're gonna have to hold off on the last one for the time being, I mean. Mm, those are all Christmas lights, no neons. Hmm. I'll probably have one around here somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, by the way, I have cleaned up a little bit. I don't know if you guys could tell or not. Um, <laughs> it's still a mess all over the place, but like all the boxes, they're moved off. Um, yes, they are gone. And the um, the drawbridge, I took down the drawbridge. So we have a little bit more room, a little bit more area. Still a mess, like crazy, crazy mess, but looks good. It's starting to look really good. And hopefully it'll be nice and clean soon. I'm hoping one day I'll just log in and it's all clean. Mm, wishful thinking, right? All right, let's go ahead and put this. No, darn it! The lag, the lag, from my own—it's my own doing. It's my own base doing it. There we go. All right. <clears throat> okay. Let's start by going and getting some more switches because we we definitely don't have enough switches okay hmm well shoot okay I can do this Let's see is this my uh, this is my utility too no that's a trailer there we go utility too got the great car beautiful <laughs> I like the utility too because I think it's faster. I know it's really not. I mean, they all have the, the same top speeds. Should I do some pressure plates as well? I might do some pressure plates, maybe. Hello, Tom. Hello, Code. How are you today, Tom? I'm good. You're still wearing that nice sweater, I see. Yes, yes. 
Twas a gift from Defaultio himself. Oh, it's very nice. Lovely. I like it. Oh, thank you. Do, 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 do. Have you seen Sam around? Yes, yes. He was just by the other day. Oh, good. I haven't gotten to talk to him in a while. Oh, that's a shame. The boy is building a tree house, you know. Oh, really? A tree house? Amazing. <laughs> yes, it's glorious. It looks great. Sorry, the accent was starting to slip there for a second, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna end the accent right there. I don't even know like how many switches should I buy? I don't know. I'll just just buy as many as I can. Oh, by the way, taking down the um, drawbridge gave me like seven wires. I did not realize how many wires was being used on that thing. Thank you. Okay. How many we got? We got four, plus we got one over there for five. That, that should be good, right? That would be fine. And we got two push buttons, so. We'll just hang out with the two push buttons for now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Okay, cool. Why is it still... There it goes. Okay. We'll open one and we'll grab one. This way, basically, I'm carrying two at a time. Oh, that is a little trick, if you guys didn't know. Um, you can open one and grab one, so you can, you can literally move two at a time. I didn't know if you guys knew that or not. It's a nice little secret to have when building. Or logic, when you're doing some logic. Or when you're signing the base and you have to carry three wires at a time. Grab. There we go. So basically I just moved four objects in two trips. So, cut my travel time in half, basically. Sweet. Okay, what were we doing? <laughs> All right, let's set up the AND switch. Move. And I will show you what the AND switch does. Um, boop, like that. All right, we're gonna grab two levers. One, two. These are gonna represent our input. And then we're gonna grab wires. Move for our output, right here, to here, finished. And I'm going to use this yellow one as our indicator. So right here, to here, and then just attach it to the ceiling, right there, finished. Sweet. So. On an AND switch, this says input one and two have to be turned on for the output to be a one or to be true, all right? So is one and two turned on? Yes, then the answer is true. Boink, and oh, the lag. All right, right here, to right here, finished, there we go, and then, Right, no, right here. Mm -mm -mm. To here, finished. There we go. So both inputs are off, the output is off. Just A is on, output is false. Just B is on, output is false. It's only when A and B are on that the output is true. So that is an AND switch. A and B have to be on for output to be true. Right there. Nice. Amazed yet? Okay, it's, it's really not that amazing until you start like 
putting them into some circuits and doing some things. But you could basically have like two pressure plates and two people have to stand them on at the same time for the door to open or something like that. And then you have like a timer delay or something. I don't know. So uh, let's see if we can just move this out right to there. Can we just throw an ore on there? I, I don't know if that's going to fit or not. Like it's it's not gonna go right in place. Is it? Yeah, it's not gonna slide down in there. Hmm, wait, will it accept the input? Oh, it did, sweet, sweet. So I don't have to actually like pick up the whole thing. So there's a little bit of a space gap right here, as you can see on the ore switch. Oh, maybe, hold on. Yeah, there is some space gap. So uh, with an ore switch, input A, input B. It can be input A or input B can be turned on for output to be true. So A or B and it's true. And A or B can both be on. That's, that's one of the significances about this particular circuit is the OR switch. Or, yeah, the OR switch. So let's move this one back. Boink. And let's go ahead and turn these off. And off. There you go. Now we're going to do the XOR switch. <clears throat> So the reason this is called an XOR switch is because of what it does to the logic on the inside. Basically, it's like, here are the inputs, here's an X, here's an input, or here's the output. If A and B are off, C should be, should be on. Okay, so A can be on, output will be true. Yes, B can be on. Output will be true. But if A and B are on, output is false. Okay? That's what the X or means. Either A or B can be on, but not both. That's the X or switch. All right? Beautiful. Beautiful things. Love it. Zoop. Yay. Yay. Okay. So, let's go ahead and move that one off. Move. And there's the XOR. Now for the inverter. Inverters are pretty simple. Basically, whatever its output is, or whatever its input is, the output will be just the opposite. Uh-oh, where'd it go? Where are you? Oh no, what happened? Where is it? done disappeared on you. Okay, let's grab the second one. Move this. We'll put this right. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Weird. Okay, and I'll show you why you would want this here in just a second. Uh, let's move here to here. Finished. And do we have a green and red? Green and red would work so much better for this. Uh, we got green. There's a green. Now do I have a red? Red, 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 red. Hmm. Red. I can't remember what colors these are over here. Hold on. What color are you? No. Cyan? Cyan, cyan, no. Hmm. I had a red wire at one time, did I? <laughs> oh, user, did you use it up there? I think he used it on his username. Darn it, that's okay. Let's see, what color is this one back here? That one's green too. I like the green, I don't know why. It's not like it's part of my logo or anything. Just kidding, it's totally part of my logo. Um, hmm. Well, let's use yellow for right now. Uh, and I will try and find red later on. Uh, actually, yeah. 
We'll, we'll use the yellow. It'll be fine. Okay. So, we want to go here to here and here. Finished. So you might be asking, what's the significance? Why do we care? Well, that's a great question. If we want green, we shall attach here. Maybe. There we go, green. And move this from here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. To here. So, say you have an open closed sign. One word says open, one says closed. You could hit the switch. Wait, why is that not? Let it go, dude. Why, what? Hold on. Okay, input is off. Oh, okay. I crossed the wire there. Hold on. We don't want it touching the input. We want it right there. Maybe that'll work. Finished. There we go. All right, try that. There it goes. So, uh, be careful when placing these in between like that, because like even me stepping on it wrong, We'll switch it on and off because objects break the current. And we are an object, technically, inside the game. So, you have an on and an off. Oh, of course you have an on and off. There's a switch. Uh, so, if you wanted to do like a flip-flop, so it's one or the other, you can do that with an inverter. Signal one, signal two. Yay, open. Closed. So, a little bit of logic right there. Then, do I have a third inverter? I should. Let's go find the third inverter. Nice. Mm -hmm. Right there. And, let's go here. Um, this is a way to, oh, come on. Come on, 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 come on. Okay, let's just put it over there for a second. Finish, there we go. Okay, cool. Let's grab this one. Move. We want the, let's see, we'll start here. We're gonna take the output of one, put it over here, like this, we're going to place it to the input of two. Oh gosh, finished, we're going to, oops, uh, close that, we're going to grab the output of two, put it to the input of three, Just like this. Make sure you give yourself some room in between the logic uh, whenever you're turning. Okay. And then we're going to take the output of three and we're going to use an AND switch. So, move this, the output of the AND switch is going to go to the input of the first inverting switch. Sorry, uh, inverting gate. If you guys don't know what I'm doing, don't worry, it's very confusing. <laughs> so, there we go, alright, let's take this, move, we're just going to slap it right there. Basically, this is going to be a way for us to turn on the circuit because the output of this third one is already going to be on. 
So. Do 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 do. Move. And let's go from here. Blink. Now we could go over the top of everything, but I don't want anything shorting out or crisscrossing or anything like that. So I'm just going to go along the back here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And right there. Finished. So the first input is already on. The second input has to be on for this to start flip-flopping. So click. There we go. Now we have a timer. Now this is actually going a lot faster than what's indicated right there. But if we wanted to turn it back off, blink. Yay, and it stops. Blink. And we actually could do that with just one. I think we could just do it with one. Oops, uh, cancel. Let's try this. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Move. Right there. Finished. Let's just take one of the inverters right here. Move. And slap it in there like that. Nice. Move. And this is this is a very compact model. Um, I don't know if this is actually going to work or not because it might not, it might not work. If it does work, I'll, I'll be pleasantly surprised. Finished. Okay, so that's on, or sorry, the inverter is already on on one of the switches. The second switch, the AND switch, has to be on for it to complete the circuit. So if we click on, yeah, that's not going to work. It's going way too fast. But as you can tell, it is clocking. It's going on, off, on, off, on, off. Really, really, really fast. Probably a lot faster than what we're wanting to do. I wonder if there's a, is there anything I could use to indicate? Hmm, not really. There's nothing I could get that would be slow enough. Maybe if I had like a big box, I could throw, oh, one of the big boxes I got rid of, I could just toss it on top of the circuit and watch it go. But, all right. Let's move this. Let's try something. Finished. Um, let's go ahead and turn off the circuit. <clears throat> we don't need it constantly clocking. And how about, uh, we don't want to sustain, we want a delay. So let's move a, a delay in the way. Oh, by the way, a delay is a clocking circuit that will take an input, but it will not output it until a certain time is reached. Like once this bar fills up, then it will output whatever it was. So that is a delay. Let's go ahead and move this. Uh, this is this is getting a little bit more complicated than what I had planned on getting into tonight. Oh, we got two minutes left. Why not? Go to Primate Laboratories. Awesome. All right, come over here like this, and then like this. Oops, 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 oops. Come back some. Come back. There we go. Now we can go straight into it. Finished. Okay. We have the shortest delay, that like it's the lowest that it can go. So hopefully, get a nice blink going on. Cool. <laughs> now we can increase this. Blink, there we go. It'll also sustain however long the delay was meant for. So if we go way up, like that. There it goes. Fill, 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 fill. Drop, 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 drop. And it's fairly simple, like fairly stable. Um, this would be great for like neon signs, um, timers, 555 timers. If you know what a 555 timer is, if you don't, go check out some circuits, do some googly stuff like that. Um, should we show the uh, sustain? Move. 
finish. So sustain is pretty much the same thing as a delay, but with some differences. A sustain, as soon as it gets its signal, it will hold onto that signal and then only let it go after the signal is stopped. So let's go ahead and hook this up. This will be our last demonstration real quick. And then we'll start getting into complex circuits after, uh, after the next video. Show you guys how to make flip flops. Sets and resets, some awesomeness. There we go. Okay, so in in conjunction, we have one lever, one inverter, one and switch, one delay timer, one sustain timer. So this is filling up with the delay. Boom! There it is. It's now sustaining. Now that's got to go, and now this has got to go. Boom! Boom! And that's going to that's gonna stay on until that right there, that input, is no longer true. So right now it's true because that's on, but this is off. So that's off. That goes on. Yay! <laughs> so, okay. I hope this has been a great demonstration for you. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get on top here like this. Awesome. <laughs> Yay! Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. It's not a let's play, it's it's my laboratory, Code Primate Labs. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. You don't have to, it's your choice. If you want to, I'd really appreciate it. I love you guys very much. Thank you and have a great night. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.